everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Nick and it's time for another review. It's on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. Do you recognise that logo? I think you do. It's Batman. Yes, it's Batman, published by Sunsoft in 1990. Uh, based on the film, of course, from 1989, directed by Tim Burton, starring Michael Keaton as the amazing uh, Batman. Now, this game is a platformer. It's literally my first go. We'll keep it on normal. I don't know how far I'll get, but with a bit of luck, maybe I'll get off level one. These reviews aren't about uh, fantastic gameplay, which is just as well, because I'm pretty rubbish. It's about how the game would have felt on your first or second go, and would there have been enough there for you to want to go and see it. So it's a platformer game, a beat-em-up, and some levels are shoot-em-ups, where you control um, the, uh, the bat wing, the flying thing. It's over six levels, and we start off in Gotham City Street. There it is, I wasn't lying. Then we go to Axis Chemical uh, Factory, um, uh, the Flugenheim Museum, the Gotham Streets again. Let's try and get used to the moves here. In the sky over Gotham, then Gotham Cathedral, your final confrontation with the Joker. So we've got punches and jumps, and we can fire the, the Batarang thing as a weapon, and we've got a grappling hook as well. Right, okay. It was a bit like a Robocop, actually, when you're going through. Bomb, 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 bomb. Your move, creep. No, I'm Batman. Okay, so a bit of kicking, a bit of somersaulting. Okay, music is, well, sort of okay. It doesn't really feel Batman-ish. Where'd they get this music from? That's nothing to do with Batman. Let's just move on. Maybe we can battle our way through here. So it doesn't go up and down like uh, Streets of Rage. It's just basically um, horizontal scrolling. Um, um, yeah, on, on a set level. It's raining. Batman hasn't got his umbrella, but his suit's made out of rubber, so that's trippy waterproof, like a wetsuit. Take that, big nose. Walk, don't walk. Don't, don't walk. Not quite sure how big the levels are, but I suppose there'll be an end of level boss at the end. This is fairly easy so far. What's the catch? Got two Batarangs left to fire at people. It's going to get more difficult if you jump over that car bonnet. Don't think we needed to do that. Uh, it's a nice weather effect. It's getting on my nerves ever so slightly. It could have been a bit better, but it would have been a good game back in the day. I think a lot of people would have, have played it, but uh, Streets of Rage is a lot, lot better. But uh, it's good, got Batman as the central character, and that can't be a bad thing. I've played Batman on the uh, Commodore Amiga, but that was by Ocean. It plays a lot different to this. It's a different game entirely, really. This one, I guess, is trying to stay um, faithful to the films. Uh, you do get to battle Jack Napier in the cathedral at the end. I think that the Axis Chemical Factory, if we get there uh, next time, Batman actually pushes the Joker for Jack Napier into the chemicals rather than trying to save him like he does in the movies. Go, Michael Keaton, go. I think Michael Keaton was my favourite Batman. But you expect me to say that because I like retro stuff. What's that? Oh, that's another set of Batarangs firing stuff. But uh, I prefer to add West, who's the ultimate one. Uh, Alright, okay, so it's an end of level boss here with two hearts at the end. So his energy's at the top, mine's at the bottom. E for enemy, B for Batman. Let's fire these things, that might be good. How much energy has he lost there? Just two bits. And we've run out of stuff now. Oh, good. Now, quite often in these sort of bits, there's a strategy, which I haven't got. Well, I've got that energy there, and I, I've got to be careful, because then I haven't got any more. Right, so he's got five bits of energy, and I've got, well, six now. Oh, no, now he's winning. He's got a much bigger range to me, this Buffer Bix Biffer Boxer bloke. I don't remember this guy in the movies. Who's he? Maybe I need to watch the film again. Hmm. It's Vicky Val in this, who's uh, played by Kim Basinger, with Massinger. Come on, Batman. Had a good feel to it, the, uh, the original Batman uh, movie. It was like um, 1920s, it felt like, and then it all went a bit more modern. Batman Returns was a Christmassy sort of one, and then Michael Keaton gave up, and then Val Kilmer uh, took charge, and then George Clooney. There, yeah, George Clooney. Game over. Oh, man. Right, I should concentrate a bit better now. Batman 1990, continue. Yes, we will continue. I want you to tell your friends about me. Who are you? I can't remember. A uh, bad someone. But let's just fight. Fight, fight, fight. Use my use my amazing batarang things here, but he's still coming with his grey boxing gloves. We've got to adopt a strategy. Now use the energy wisely, probably when you're down to the last bit. Oh I've died, have I? That was a bit silly. Stop dying, Batman. Maybe if I jump over him each time and attack from behind. Well, great. Yeah, I think one punch and then zip away, I think, is probably the, the idea. That's got my energy up to maximum. Let's just try and preserve it. 
Nick, come on, at least get off level one so we can get to the Axis Chemical Factory, and then by my own low standards, this review will be a success. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. If it could also come out on the NES, but um, it, I don't mean, it might have played a little bit different to this one again. So we're going back to 1990s. Sunsoft Mega Drive action is pretty good as a Batman game, I would say. I think there's a stage where you're in the, the Batmobile, and as I said before, the stage where you're in the Batwing flying about the place, which is pretty nifty. So, you know, Batman fans would have been pleased with this one, although, to be honest, I think I'm quite confident I'll get past level one. So most most kids would have um, got past level one on their first day of playing, I would have thought. There's not too many uh, um, kids that have been worse player than me. One left, one left to get him. I'm more into racing games, really. One more punch. Oops, it's going to be close, this one. Come on, bat bloke. Yes, that's him dead. Hooray! Well, that's 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 surprising. I've got off level one, I think. It's, yes, Axis Chemical Factory. That's where Jake Napier falls into chemicals and turns into the Joker. The Joker, Batman. Yeah, we ran it out here, boys. Away we go. There's chemicals about the place. Who, what are those two fellas doing, anyway? Oops, that's just like a bridge. It doesn't look very safe in here. Oh, that bit's exploded. Glad we avoided that exploding pipe. And, um, whoops. Can't seem to punch those boxes like Robocop would have done. Hmm, I seem to be a bit stuck. No, I can't do a grappling hook above it either. What's going on here? What gives? Maybe that exploding pipe. Maybe I needed to use that as a ledge to get over. It looks like I'm stuck. Can't go back the way I came. Now Batman would just walk around the box normally, because these these guys are just Oh, this is a bit silly. Those other guys just walk past that box. Why can't Batman walk past it? Batman's a Wally. Continue. Yes, Batty. There's a bat in my belfry. Whoa. I'd like to play the Joker, but they haven't put me up. Or the Riddler's good. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big bad bat? Right, Batman. Well, when is, I think the secret to doing this is, yeah, you got to walk across, I've messed up again. I think what you got to do is walk across that pipe, time it so you got that as leverage before it blows up, and then jump over those boxes, and that's what you do. Other than that, you're just stuck like this, kicking people like a, a Wally Wombat like I'm doing. Oh, bats, bats aren't renowned for their vision, are they? They do everything through echolocation, they don't wear rubber or anything like that. Batman, there was a bat woman of course, and bat girl. Um, what other bat stuff? Bat horse? No, there wasn't there wasn't a horse that dressed dressed up. Could you imagine that in Gotham City? Oh my god, it's bat horse. <laughs> and then bat horse comes on and does lots of kung fu and fights everyone. Hmm. Batman, it's got a couple of well, it's had a few reboots in my in my lifetime. I'm not overly keen on Ben Affleck's Batman when he fought against a super bloke. Game over again, well we'll give it one last go, see if I can actually jump over boxes. I've always wanted to jump over boxes. So you get a few continues here, so it's it's quite generous to the newbie. Let's see if I can get through it this time. Right, okay, so up the pipes. I bet I don't do it. Right, come on Nick, jump. Just keep jumping. Oh, he's gone wrong again. Gotham City is is doomed. Yeah, so that's the thing, you can't go back the way you came. It scrolls to the right. As soon as it scrolls to the right, you can't scroll back to the left like you can on the ZX Spectrum a Robo Group. Batman. Bruce Wayne, of course. I don't think there's any stages where you play as Bruce Wayne. Or John Wayne. That plays John Wayne. Get off your horse and drink your milk. Yeah. Come on, Batman. Do this thing. Quite a lot of Batman games. Quite a few on the, on the ZX Spectrum there, on the Amiga, and various other ones. And why not? Because Batman is, is a top super duper franchise, but quite annoying if you can't ju ju jump over about... Oops. Can't jump over about four boxes stacked on top of each other. If we no good working at a supermarket, they'd run out of stuff because you couldn't get all the stock. Look, I'm uh, I'm a bit upset with this. I can't I can't leave it. Oh, I've got another continue. Well, might as well use it up. Come on, Batman, jump over the boxes. So it looks like on your first or second go, this is the bit that you'd get up to initially, trying to get this timing. Hopefully, there isn't too many other bits in the game uh, like this. 
Well, I might start. No, I won't start swearing. The the, cha the channel always goes on a, a PG level, so if you want to get your your kids into retro gaming or worried about watching it when they're around, you don't need to be because this is pretty much as safe safe as eggs. Jump! Yes! Hooray! Right, I've done it. Easy, wouldn't it? Easy, easy. Batman, I'm Batman. I've done it. I've done it again. Good. Right now. There will not be any more equally tricky bits like that. My energy's not looking too clever. Let's jump over these fellas. We don't need to fight them. Oops. No, 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 no. Well, got a, yeah, got a few lives per go, which is nifty. What do we do here? Looks like grappling hook time. Yep, grappling hook. Grappling hook. Or do I go back the other way? I don't want to keep fighting these fellas. I'm, I'm, yeah. There's a bloke with a bazooka there. That can't be, that can't be good. Who's a bloke with a bazooka in Batman? There was some sort of like circus gang in uh, Batman Returns. Well, that's how you do it. Right, now I've got to take out this thing. Kaboom. Got some Batarang things. I might have to fire them. Oh, it's good at close range. Take that and your bazooka. Bazooka, that baruka. Up we go. So it's all about going up here. So it looks like there's another bazooka man there. But we can't shoot him from dead. Oh, God. He, he's, fire, he's actually firing the bazooka, that, this fella. He's had the training. A bazooka could probably go through rubber quite easily, I would have thought. Oh, he's not firing now for some reason. The bloke's a wally. That was rubbish tactics. Fire the bazooka when there's no one there. When Batman's there, the uh, the Knight of Darkness, the Prince of Darkness, don't fire at all. That's a silly thing. Biff. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this game, actually. The further I get into it, I... Yeah, six levels, so it isn't overly long, the game, but judging by the first level, unless the other ones are a little bit bigger. Conveyor belt time. It's not a good uh, platform unless you've got a conveyor belt in the mix. Now, what do I do here? Have to take a bit of a risk. Do we jump off or we just fall off the conveyor belt? Whoa, we've fallen down. This is... Oh, we survived that, did we? Right, we, we seem to be stuck in a hole. Batman's stuck in a well. Can we go through here somehow? Maybe down and fire, perhaps. Let's try a few things. I can't get the grappling hook there. We could be stuck. Could be gamer. Oh, look, there we go. That's how you do it. And there's some more batarang things there. No, we don't want to go up. We want to go down. Do, do, do. It's a good game, but the, the music's not very Batmanish. Oh, no. Bat bloke. And it's game over again. It's quite addictive, this. It is quite addictive. Continue. It's not going to take me all the way back to before those boxes. It is. Oh, no. I was hoping it'd just continue where it left off. Oh, that's a shame. Can I do the pipe twice in a row? Oh, I was enjoying myself then. Where'd you jump from? Oh, I've messed up there. Oh. Batman. Batman does it again. I could just keep fighting these fellas forever. Maybe they'll move the boxes for me. They should do. I mean, what's the Batman music? That's not the Batman music. Well, I'd have to, have, to, have to play it. It's epic, that, that Tim Burton Batman uh, music. All of, all of them are from all of the, uh, the the Batman films of that era. This this one is a bit, I don't know. It's like um, Knight Rider, Michael Knight music, is chasing someone in Spain. It's a bit, uh, a bit Brazilian uh, flamenco, sort of like dancing. A bit parade -y. Carnival-y, but it's, it's not it's not Batman music, is it? If you are Batman, then comment in the comment section below. How are things going? There's rumours that, that Michael Keaton at the time of recording is going to play Batman again in a Batman movie. Possibly Batman Beyond as an older Batman. Passing off the mantle, I think, to a younger Batman. Batman. Don't get that in the Joker. Passing the mantle to a younger Joker. Yes, I don't think I can take too much more of this. It's all about getting over these boxes. Then you might get a bit further. Well, I didn't mind that game. I didn't mind that game. It's got all the Batman things and it would have me coming back. I, I wanted a little bit more, but you can probably get those from getting further in the game with all the vehicles. So it's pretty good, really. Not as good as Aladdin or some of the other platformers, but uh, better than Cool Spot, I would say. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was a Batman on the Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on where you are in the world, of course. Published by Sunsoft in 1990. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, Batman or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.